The CLP 635 is where the CLP lineup starts to redefine what to expect from in a digital piano. It's also Yamaha's step up commitment to offering you much more for just a little more. Step up highlights include a larger voice library, 36 in all. We introduce a binaural CFX piano sample for use with headphones. You will discover a much more detailed piano sound thanks to virtual resonance modeling, plus an easy to access control panel with a display, rhythms, digital effects, the piano room, and much more. Let's start the CLP 635 Step Up Feature Tour. Supporting the sound is the beauty of the Clavinova. A nice model upgrade deals with its cabinet and finish options. The CLP 635 offers a beautiful upright style cabinet design and it's available in different finishes. Polished ebony, matte black, dark walnut, and rosewood. In terms of creating the perfect acoustic piano playing experience, well, when looking for a digital piano, music educators, professional musicians, and even music institutions worldwide have chosen the Yamaha Clavinova as their number one choice. Supporting this history of success is really Yamaha's history. Yamaha has been creating acoustic pianos for over 125 years. Therefore, Yamaha's authentic grand piano knowledge and expertise is really at the heart of these beautiful clavinovas. So let's start here. The ultimate symbol of piano excellence, the tone and the touch. When it comes to the acoustic piano sound experience, all models include two world-renowned concert grand pianos, which are available at the touch of a button. Yamaha's flagship 9-foot concert grand piano, the CFX, which offers sparkling highs and a powerful resonant bass, a sound that's known for projecting to the furthest reaches of any concert hall. And second, the legendary sound of the Bosendorfer Imperial, featuring a characteristic warm tone known as the Viennese sound. Perfect for playing stately melodies from composers such as Brahms and Beethoven. As you just heard, that sound is absolutely amazing. And that's because this model and the ones above reproduce the grand piano's full range of sound characteristics through the use of Yamaha's exclusive Virtual Resonance Modeling Technology, or VRM for short. This is a sound recreation process that extends far beyond the sound of simply recording the hammer hitting the strings. Let's explore. When playing a grand piano, the sound resonating throughout the body of the instrument is really a combination of different sound elements. To recreate this natural ambiance of sound, Yamaha blends additional samples along with the tone of the keys you are playing, such as string resonance, the ambient sound of the strings resonating around the notes you're playing, damper resonance, the ambient sound that the damper pedal produces, and smooth release, the sound you hear when releasing a key, crisp when you're playing staccato, and a lingering sound when you release the key slowly. To serve the ear of the most demanding piano purist, it's really the Clavinova's virtual resonance modeling technology that breaks the sound barrier of piano realism. Beyond traditional sampling, where this can be viewed as a defined snapshot of sound, here we're using real-time sound modeling based on the sound factors that take place inside the acoustic piano's cabinet. Thanks to VRM, when you play, in real time, the Clavinova calculates the various states of the strings for each of the 88 notes on the keyboard from one instance to the next, along with the movement of the damper pedal. 
since instantaneous resonance is being made at the moment according to the state of the keyboard and pedals, you can vary the sound expressively by simply changing the timing of pressing the keys and the timing and depth of when you're pressing the pedal. Now VRM is also calculating the aliquot resonance, which are those open strings found in the upper octave of the piano, along with the full resonance of the soundboard, rim, and frame. The end result is a vivid, richly varied expression that reflects the limitless number of sound factors inherent when playing the piano. It truly is the perfect acoustic piano sound experience. The piano sound coming out of the speakers is amazing, but how do you create a fully immersive concert grand experience when you're wearing headphones? Well, for the CLP635 and the models above, this question is answered thanks to Yamaha's advanced binaural sampling technology. Here's how this works. When you put on headphones and you select the CFX concert grand piano sound, the sample automatically switches to a special binaural sample of Yamaha CFX Concert Grand Piano. The process of how this piano sample was recorded is what makes this feature so unique. Using binaural recording technology, specialized microphones capture locational information and other nuances from the position and sound perspective of the human ear. The end result in the positioning of sound is as if you were sitting center stage on the bench of the piano. The resulting sound is so natural, so immersive, that you soon forget you're even wearing headphones at all. So now, without headphones, or with, you can fully enjoy the concert grand experience at home. Let's now explore some other upgrades and features that are not found on Yamaha's entry-level model, the CLP625. When it comes to ease of operation, you're gonna find quick access to the voices, the songs, and a host of other features, thanks to a dedicated control panel located on the left piano cheek block. At a quick glance, the full dot display will indicate your currently selected settings. Plus, you'll discover a dedicated piano room button that will give you access to the piano-centric settings like the virtual piano lid, brightness, and even reverb. In addition, you'll find a voice button for selecting voices, a song demo button, a direct dual split mode button, a metronome button, and more. As a piano player, I know that there are many variables that can alter the sound of a piano performance. For example, I can close the lid of my acoustic piano to make the sound warmer and softer. If I play in a church cathedral or even a concert hall, the sound presence of my piano will be enhanced by the room's acoustics. And if I'm in a recording studio, I can EQ my acoustic piano to make it brighter. I can even hire a piano technician to get inside my piano and tailor the tone. Now, if you wish to have this control on your Clavinova and more, you can, you just enter the piano room. Being able to customize the sound and touch response of the piano all takes place in your piano room. For example, listen to how I can change the timbre of the CFX Concert Grand Piano by simply opening and closing a virtual piano lid. Just like an acoustic piano, when the lid is up, you're going to hear a fuller, brighter sound. But when the lid is closed, the sound will be muted, more mellow and soft. Let's listen.
Also, from within the piano room, you can perform in different room venues, like a small jazz club. or even the setting of a church cathedral. Thanks to the piano room, you can even adjust the touch response, you can tweak the VRM settings, you can change the pitch of the piano, and much more. When it comes to sound projection, here's another step of feature. The speaker system has increased its power from 40 watts to 60 watts. The internal sound library has been expanded from 10 voices to 36 voices, more than tripling your instrument voice options. This includes the sound of a choir, an acoustic guitar. orchestral strings, and much more. Another step up for this model and the models above is the offering of drum rhythm patterns. You'll find rhythms in the style of pop and rock, jazz, Latin, even kids and holiday rhythms. With these rhythms, you can add an ensemble experience to your performances. For example, here's a jazz trio using a jazz waltz swing rhythm with a split setting of an acoustic bass in the left and a piano in the right. Or how about playing a pop ballad using an electric piano combined with an acoustic piano, that's kind of a David Foster sound, with the support of a drummer. And when you stop the drum track, it automatically adds a nice ending. Piano students who are trying to perfect their timing will also benefit from the rhythm library. For all students, the metronome is a standard tool. It uses a click track that keeps your performance in alignment with a specific tempo like this. Of course, a drum rhythm can assist you in the same manner, and they're a lot more fun. So whether you're a student looking for timing support that's more exciting and fun than a metronome click, or you're a player wanting to add a groove to your song, the built-in rhythms are ready to support your playing. On all models, you're going to enjoy the dual voice setting, which will let you combine two voices together like piano and strings. But when you step up to the 635 and the models above, the Clavinova adds additional multi-voice settings. First, 
there's the split mode. Now this will let you assign two different voices, one to the bottom part of the keyboard, like an acoustic bass, and another in the upper range of the keyboard, like a vibraphone. You can add the swing rhythm for the third part and sound like a jazz trio. You could also perform using three voices by combining the dual and split feature at the same time. For example, you can have strings on the left side of the keyboard, and on the upper part of the keyboard, you can have pipe organ and choir. If you're studying piano at any level and at any age, you're going to really enjoy this next upgrade. In addition to the 50 classical musical masterpieces that's available on all clavinovas, the CLP now adds 303 lesson songs that focus on the traditional teacher-student repertoire. Within this collection, you're going to find selections from Scherny, Bergmuller, and even Hannon exercises. Stepping up to the CLP 635 and the models above, we come to a major upgrade and a must-have for the creative musician and student. On these models, you're going to discover a MIDI and audio recording feature that instantly archives your performances to a USB thumb drive. Plus, the USB port is right under the keyboard, making it easy to access. For the creative songwriter, composer, arranger, or student, the CLP's onboard multi-track recording feature has now been expanded from a two-track system to an amazing 16-track recorder. Using digital effects like reverb and chorus is commonly used to enhance the sound of an instrument. Now this is a standard practice of any music producer. So when you move up to the CLP 635 and the models above, Yamaha also steps up the effect library from four settings to an amazing library of 29 effects, including chorus, flanger, echo, delay, and many more. The sound system of a CLP Clavinova is fantastic, especially when you move to the upper models that contain four and six speakers with a significant boost in power. Therefore, why not use those speakers to play music from your smartphone or tablet device? Why not? It's for this reason all models from the CLP 635 and up offer an audio auxiliary input jack. Once connected, you can play along with your favorite artists. You can even enjoy interactive educational software titles that use audio tracks and more. And finally, here's another great step of benefit. Today, everyone is exploring music using iPads and other iOS devices because it opens up a new world of music creativity and exploration for you to enjoy. On this model and the models above, you can connect your Clavinova to your iOS device wirelessly using a Wi-Fi signal. No cables required. To do this, you simply need to add Yamaha's optional Wi-Fi adapter called the UDWL01. So there you have it. When you move from the entry-level CLP 625 to the next model, the CLP 635, the promise of investing a little more to get a lot more is granted by Yamaha. Of course, all of these features are found on the higher models as well with even more. To discover the additional features found on the CLP 645, 675, and 685, you simply view the rest of our CLP step-up videos.